Rob Microfluidics have a technology that can tell a business when their machine might develop a fault. And we do this by analyzing the lubricating oil on a real-time basis. I started as one person, the challenges were different, but then as you grow as a company, you tend to add more people to um, your workforce and then you have to start managing people and everybody has different needs and different desires that you actually have to fulfill for them to be able to give value to that vision that you have as an entrepreneur. What we tap into is the fact that we're doing what no one has done before. So that excites certain people. I worked on, with Rob Michael Flegis for a year and a half before the first person joined us. And that's because you were looking for the right person um, with, the, li with limited resources. We didn't have any money to pay anybody, but you needed someone to come and work. So it's all about selling your dreams, selling your idea, and finding the person that's receptive enough that um, will say, okay, I can come and work because I believe in the dream and I don't mind if you don't pay me now. But as you grow as a company, that changes. You get people with more experience who have more established personal situations. They have families, they have mortgages and all of that. That will not cut it. Saying, come on, work for us. We don't have money to pay you will not cut it. So you need to actually be able to pay these guys and still incentivize them. So you, as an entrepreneur, as a founder, you have to share where the dream of the company is coming from and where you're going to. It's all about um, distilling your message in such a way that anybody you speak to gets it immediately because we human beings have a very short attention span nowadays. So you want to actually be very punchy and deliver your message as clearly as possible. The next thing is to actually practice it and practice it and practice it so you know it inside out. So at any point in time, you can deliver that message very succinctly, very articulated in such a way that you deliver it effortlessly. It is startups that drive innovation because most of these big companies, although they have innovation teams, they're slow to actually bring this on board. But there is a hunger, there is a passion, there is a drive with a two-man company, with a three-man company to create an enabling environment and actually drive change within any particular industry.